Boy, that was a tight squeeze. What's going on everybody, Reso Rabbit here. We are in part three of the sale. We did $33,000 last week. It was a great start. Back to normal. Hoping this week is better. Not that last week was bad. We just always want to improve. So the last video was <laughs> a lot longer than I expected it to be. So I'm gonna try and be quicker on this one and talk less. We got this out. They were six bucks retail. We're selling them for three. And then I've got another one up here. Same thing. I paid 75 bucks for both of these. So I just counted these. There's 122 rolls in here. Assuming this one is comparable, that's 244 rolls. It's gonna be over 700 bucks if we get three bucks a piece for them. Pretty good $75 purchase. What do you think? Finally getting rid of the last of these. We got rid of them a while ago. I don't remember if it was in a sale or elsewhere, um, but I found a case still in the eBay area. It wasn't listed on eBay, but they were in the eBay area. So there were, I think, eight left in the, in the case. Now they're gonna be gone. All right, the last of Riley Rose is going out. Um, I'm really disappointed with how the eyelashes have done. I thought they would have done much better. Um, this is pretty much it for the makeup. I've got a box with a whole bunch more of these foundations in the back. And I've got one more box of this mixed Walgreens cosmetics in the back that we'll be able to fill in as these clear out. This is all filled up here, over here. This is going to look really pretty in the pictures. Everything's filled in over here. I need to fill in this little hole. Um, this is filled in, all this is done. Um, and then I've got two holes in the Home Depot area. We got this one right here and this one right here. And then the sales floor is done. Then I'll just have a little bit to do in the special buy and I'm gonna update the signs and then I'm out of here. Let me show you what safety looks like. We gotta go through this narrow pathway to get to the stuff on the bottom pallet. So we leave the two corners here. That way the pallet doesn't collapse on me. All right, with these and this, Home Depot table's done. This empty spot here, one empty spot. Also, what are key letters that goes in here? And I forgot to mention, I got an empty spot here, which I'm just gonna fill with a bunch of these. One trick that I know actually works is instead of stacking it where it's nice and flat and even, it looks pretty, I make it look like several were already purchased. Seriously, it works. I had a pallet of paper towel and I think we had two $10 days. The first $10 day, not a single one sold. It was all stacked neatly on the pallet, all even, level and everything. So for the second day, I shuffled it around. I took like, four packs of them off, threw a couple on top to make it look like there was another level above it that's mostly gone. And we almost sold out that day. It's weird. If people, I don't even think people realize that their mind goes that way. I think it's completely subconscious, but if people think, so other people have been buying it, it must be a good deal, then they're gonna buy it. They see it look all pretty. Oh, no one's touched this yet. It's probably not that good of a deal. So they don't buy it. It's gotta be subconscious. There's no way. Like, I don't think I would think that, but I could see my brain doing that behind the scenes. Opening up another mystery box. It feels really light. Probably another Baby Yoda. And in it is a Baby Yoda, but there's other stuff too. So I'll probably just throw this stuff right on the tables. Well, this one actually with the Baby Yoda would have been worth it for 60. Look at these shoes. Look how expensive these are. There's one with the box. That one's only 65 shipped, but either way, I'm gonna set these aside for eBay. I thought that was gonna be a terrible box because it was light and was mostly a baby Yoda, but it might be one of the better ones there. I, hmm. It's tough to say, The re I opened one regular one and it was, Pretty good. All those champion sweatpants. Um, 
customer came in who bought two of them. He said he was really happy with what he found in it. Uh, he also found a baby Yoda, but it must have been with a bunch of other stuff because it was one of the heavier ones. All right, these will go up for $3 today. That will, what is this? Replacement carburetor. Maybe that's worth something on eBay. This is, looks like invitations, $3 a day. Flameless candle, $3 a day. Just an off-brand shirt, I guess, $3 a day. $3 a day. Oh, this is $3 a day. I'm going to just take a look at that and see if that's a special brand. This, it seems like it's unbranded. Big Boy Sailboat Island. And that just looks cheap. Yeah. So I'll quick look this up, but the rest of it I'm just going to put out on the tables. Nothing. And then the Baby Yoda I saved, I'm just going to throw in the auction. So just got a notification. Someone tagged the Wisconsin Liquidation Center Facebook page in a post, in a comment. What could that be? So I went and looked. It was on a competitor's page in Appleton. Um, someone tagged us. So hopefully that might bring us some new customers. People are like, oh, there's someone in Green Bay that does this too? Um, hopefully at least. We have a late night visitor showing up to shop. And by shop, I mean use my printer. She needs to print stuff, something. Hi. You know what? This is gonna be embarrassing. Did I ever take the sign off the door that says, come in, we're open? Oh good, I did. Remember last week we forgot it for like two hours after we closed. That would have been awkward leaving it for the two days we were closed. All right. I updated the gloves, dropped the price to $1.99 because they're cheaper gloves. I'll get the signs up. I'm going home. I'm tired. It's like 7 o'clock. 7.18. Time to go home and maybe try to edit part one and try and get up to no tomorrow. I don't know. It's currently, with all the clips in there, over two hours long. I don't know. I can't believe it was that long. I'm not clocked in. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to fix that. Um, it's currently over two hours long and probably because of things like that. I don't know why it's that long. Hopefully I can trim it down. I don't like being over an hour, um, but I don't know, maybe you guys will like it. Um, a lot of ums, I usually don't say a lot of ums. I keep losing my train of thought because I'm doing things. I almost did it again. I don't know why that video is so long. I couldn't imagine why that video is so long. Do I ever ramble about things? Okay, see you tomorrow. There's a rave happening at the mall. Hey, it's Wednesday morning. I'm bringing cars and signs out and I brought the firewood rack with a new sign right up front. So hopefully that sells it. I don't remember what I showed you, but we got the mystery boxes out last night. I got all the signs up, filled everything in, um, words, things. I don't know. I got in here just with just enough time to bring carts and signs out, uh, print a new come in sign because the other one got damaged by the snow and bring the thing out front, the firewood rack. So I think I got a minute or so before I have to do the live video. My prediction, it could go either way. It's tough to say. I'm predicting $10,000. Wednesdays typically aren't that great compared to the rest of the sale, but we had a handful of sales where Wednesday was really good. I think with Christmas, I think it's going to be one of those really good Wednesdays. And we've got a lot of really good stuff. Great values here. This should get moved. That's an empty box. Um, I really think we can do 10,000 today. Tomorrow, if we do 10 today, I don't think we're going to do 10 tomorrow. Uh, I think tomorrow will probably be like 7 or 8. However, if today ends up being slower, we don't get the customers here, and we do 6, 7, 8 today, I think we'll do over 10 tomorrow. 
So either today or tomorrow will be 10, one of the two. So I relisted some of the flannels. I just kept a couple of each. I've only got size small and mediums in these. Um, my cost was like two something each. So three, I'm barely making a profit. So they don't really seem to be moving. We've sold like three or four in the year we've had them, but we'll keep a small sampling of them just because we're practic we're probably still gonna have some left after today's over and we'll be selling for a loss tomorrow anyway. They keep going. We open in 15 minutes and we've got probably 10 cars out there. It's gonna be a good day, I think. Today's gonna be that $10,000 day and then tomorrow will be the lower one of the two. People. I bet we have 50 people in here right now. There's a lot of people coming in. I thought about stopping people, but it's, it's too cold to have a line. It's like 30 degrees, it's warm out. But I'm just letting them all in because why not? So Christiana has abandoned me. She's flying to Pittsburgh for a work trip. Um, and she posted a picture this is why I love small town airports like Green Bay's airport. You couldn't do this in like Atlanta or Chicago. They have a gift wrapping station after security. So if TSA has to open the gift that you wrapped up, they've got a bunch of wrapping paper and tape and scissors. And it's free. Anybody can use it. It's free to wrap gifts. You don't see that in others. Last time I was at the Green Bay area, they Green Bay Airport, they had free milk and cookies. You don't see this stuff in those big city airports. Aside from the fact that I can be parking while my plane is boarding and still get on the plane in time. There's nothing better than a small airport. Green Bay does it right. So, just sold the plastic fish bowls right here. But I couldn't find it manually searching it. And Tim took my barcode scanner yesterday when he was doing eBay. So I had to do a custom skew. So let's find out why it's not in the system. Bringing more of these out. We're selling them at break even today. I just want them gone. 49 minutes in, we're at 1,700. I did make a mistake though. We had these small packs of like microfiber towels. I didn't realize they were Norwix. Those probably could have gone on a $10 day. Another round of these going out. Oh, some people suck. So here's what happened. I wanna know what you guys think, if I did the right thing or not. We got a regular customer. He comes to every sale multiple times a day, spends a lot of money. Um, he asked for a Denver Broncos jacket. Of course he's a Broncos fan. So those jackets, because we're bringing them out without special buy tags and they kind of blend in well with the apparel stuff, we usually just bring them right up to the register. We'll let them try it on, look at it and everything. If they want it, we'll bring it up to the register for them. Well, he's a regular. I wasn't too worried about him stealing it, so I just gave it to him. Um, I went and looked later in the system and we were short one in one, item, one of the NFL jackets that had sold. So I asked the guys at the register and they said, the guy who checked him out said, oh man, I just thought it was a mechanics jacket. I didn't realize it was an NFL jacket. So I told him, yeah pay closer attention to that. I can kind of see because they're supposed to be behind the register how it would have been missed. It still shouldn't have been missed. But anyways, so the guy's still here. He came back in and actually asked for another one before I realized all this. So I brought it to him. And once I realized that he just paid $3 for this jacket, we've got him listed for 40 and our cost is a lot more than three. I brought it up to him and I Basically, I said, I think we uh, charged you the wrong amount on your last transaction. So when you get up there, uh, we'll take care of it for you. And he said he knew right away what I was talking about. And basically, after some back and forth, he's like, well, I mean, it's your guy's mistake. I already bought it. It's out in my car. I shouldn't have to pay any more for it. And basically said he's not going to pay the, the difference. Um, you know, I don't have a whole lot of money and, you know, he gave me all these excuses. Basically his mindset is once the transaction is done, it's done. 
which to a degree I agree with, but he's a regular customer. You'd think he'd be like, oh, my bad. I didn't notice it either. We'll take care of it. So Tim says I should have thrown him out. He had another jacket in his hand, which I made sure the guys at the register know he's got another jacket in his hand. Um, and he says, yeah, I'll pay the 40 for this one. No big deal. But the last one, you know, the transaction's done. I shouldn't have to pay any extra. One second. So anyways, Tim says I should have just thrown him out. And I get where Tim's coming from. And part of me wants to say, well, all right, you're out of here. But the thought process is throwing him out is not going to get me the 40 bucks or $37 back for that jacket. Throwing him out, I get nothing. At least, A, he's buying another jacket right now. And yeah, I could tell him not to come back after this, whatever. But he spends a lot of money. He comes to every sale. I would be willing to bet he spends 150 to 250 bucks every single warehouse sale. So I could throw them out and get nothing, or I could just not. And I kind of gave him a passive aggressive, that's not right, but whatever, okay, and walked away on him. Um, I told him, you know, they cost us a lot more than $3. That hurts the business, because he said, I don't want to hurt your business. And I said, well, that hurts the business. It costs us more than $3 to buy those. Anyways, so we can get nothing. We throw him out, he'll probably never come back. Or... We just consider it a mistake on our part and let him continue shopping and make that 150 to 250 bucks per sale. That's my thought process. I didn't throw him out. What do you guys think? He didn't blatantly steal from us. He didn't do anything to, he didn't do anything sketchy to try and make it look cheaper or anything like that, like peeling a tag off or anything. It was 100% our mistake. Doing the right thing, he should have paid the difference but he didn't so what do you think i think i made the right call speak of the devil he wanted to talk to me he said he gave them an extra 15 bucks he said that's all he had on him so i mean i guess at that point we're not losing money because we sold it for 18 but anyways i've rambled on enough about this do you guys think i did the right thing by not kicking him out if he was like trying to do something to steal then yeah i definitely would have kicked him out but it was more our mistake than his. He should have paid the whole difference, but you can't force him to. You know, the funny part is he seemed kind of upset, so hopefully he keeps coming back. But I've seen this before. If someone gets away with something and then they get caught, they get upset with the people who catch them. Like I was at Home Depot once, and there was like a, like a $600 set of milwaukee tools like a whole bunch of different power tools and someone had set it on a shelf that had some other stuff that said like 35 bucks or something like that and he brought it up to the register and tried to get it for 35 bucks and he knew those weren't 35 bucks it's hundreds of dollars for this um and i watched him just get really upset when they said we're not going to sell you this someone just set it on the shelf and he was the one who was upset i get trying and when they Sell you, yeah, this was obviously a mistake. You go, uh, oh well, it was worth a shot. And that's what I get a lot, but I don't understand the people who get like physically upset about things like that. 10 o'clock and we're over 4,000 already. Sold out of mystery boxes, eight of them. Good and old 20. I gotta stop saving these. I'm just gonna take it to the bank. Feels like such a shame. I'm pretty sure the bank destroys them when they go in. I really, I keep too many of these though. Because I have to buy them from the business. I can't just put it in my pocket. 1993 is not super old. It'll go to the bank. So I just did a bank run and drop off cash. Um, I like to do it random times throughout the day. So there isn't somebody waiting on the outside of the door to kick my head in and steal the money after we close. Um, but I decided to stop for lunch. I didn't show up. I had Arby's. It was so good. They have mac and cheese bites that I wanted them, but this is a five minute wait. And the reason I'm quick having my lunch now while I'm doing the bank run is because we're still busy and I don't want to take the time. Oh, another thing on the topic of that guy with the jacket. I know I've rambled a lot about it. The only reason I went up and talked to him is because he's a regular. I thought he'd be fine with, okay, sorry, I didn't notice it either. I'll pay the difference. Um, 
had it been just a new customer or someone I haven't seen before, I probably would have just let it go because well, at the very least they got a great deal and they're definitely coming back. I did not expect it to turn into such an ordeal. All right, now I'm done talking about it. So this is where I keep track of my step count for the year. That's today so far and it puts us over the goal for the year. 3,650,000 steps. Now I'm gonna delete this because I haven't finished the day yet, but we're there. And look how many extra days I don't need to walk for the rest of the year. So I'm wanting Christiana to come back right now from her trip so she can carry me everywhere for the next, what, 24 days because I'm done walking. So last night on one of our Facebook posts, Justin's right, it does smell like uncooked mac and cheese in here. On one of our Facebook posts last night, someone said, you gotta be careful going to this place. They don't check expiration dates. So people are roasting him in the comments. Just, I would guess, I stopped reading it a while ago, but at least six or seven people have jumped in on the comments saying how expired food, food doesn't turn into poison as soon as it passes the date. It's kind of funny. And then a lady just walked up to me and she said she jumped into the comments too, an older lady. But how expired food isn't bad. It's just fine in most cases. So I think my comment was something along the lines of um, some people don't have a problem with expired food and or food past the best buy date is what I said. And they're happy to save them a little bit of money to have that instead. And who are we to decide whether or not people are going to save, want to save money? We leave that up to the customer. We're just a hair after the halfway point of the day. 6,400 bucks. Tim says there's nothing left in here for the sale. I find that hard to believe. Um, but I've been working over here. I got all the trash cleared out around here. We've got two cases of these left, which I have a feeling are gonna be saved. Um, we're getting towards the end of the day. I'm not putting these out for $2. In here, making some progress i know it doesn't look like it but well, we can almost get to the door i've got a table out there as soon as that sells i'm gonna put this in its place we're gonna sell these a dollar per case to try and get them out of here also those two pallets are empty that pallet's empty i think that one's empty that one other than bed pans is empty so we, a lot of these are empty pallets sitting in here that one's empty don't think we're gonna hit 10 today. It's almost two o'clock, we're at 7,600. We need 2,400 more in the next two hours and 10 minutes. It's possible, but I don't know if that's gonna happen unless we get bum rushed. We'll probably finish around 8,500, 9,000, somewhere in that ballpark. Do you know how cheap fire trucks are? Like used fire trucks? You can get a fire truck for like $4,500. Out of my way. Uh, me and Tim are trying to find a way to justify buying a fire truck because we just want one. No feasible reason. It's a fire truck. What do you guys think? Can you think of a feasible reason for us to own a fire truck? Other than just parking it back here and saying, hey, yeah, I own a fire truck. I don't know. Well, I think I said we were like 73, 7,400 um, going into two o'clock. It's 3.05 p.m. now. We're at 8,339. So we did almost $1,000 in the last hour. Maybe we can, I guess that would be like an hour and 15 minutes because it's 3.05. That was 150. Maybe we get close. We might get close. All right, I forgot to film. We're like $100, $80, $90 shot shy of 9,000 today. I'm going home. So I was a little bit below my prediction. Um, I think tomorrow is gonna be somewhat comparable. I bet tomorrow we do 7,500. That's my guess. All right, I'm going home. It is 6.30 a.m. Thursday, I am so tired. I was up too late last night. I had to get part two finished editing. So that's launching today. I need to sleep so bad. I have a bunch of eBay orders, <clears throat> orders too. I shipped at like three o'clock yesterday. 
and we have 19 orders since then. It's 6.28 a.m. I'm not going to show you the orders or anything because this video is going to be long enough, but that's a lot of orders for... I'm not going to do the math. Not many hours. All shipped out. We open in 15 minutes. I hear voices outside in line, and I forgot to bring carts and signs out. So I guess we're doing that now. So, ready to make it official. 17842. Meaning down here, that turns green. We hit the goal. 3,650,000 steps this year, 10,000 a day, and I don't need to walk again for the rest of the year. So I don't remember if I made my prediction or not, but my prediction was 7,500. A um, little nervous about that now though. We've got, for this year, what I would call a great turnout. It's probably 20 people in the building. We had probably about 10, 15 in line when I opened the door. But compared to like yesterday, for instance, where we did 8,900 in sales on $3 a day with better stuff, we had like 50 people storm the door when we opened. I don't know if it's going to happen today. Looking at, I mean, I know we opened, what, 12 minutes ago, 13, 16 minutes ago. So it's, you can't really judge this early. But looking at what I have here, now my prediction prediction is dropping down like four or five thousand we'll see you never know could pick up later today but it's thursday and usually the biggest rush is when we first open so back here we got boxes of candy those are both empty this is all the scunchies which we'll be running through probably through dollar day i'm undecided but most likely um this is just some fallen halloween stuff i'm just gonna throw it on a bag day to get rid of it uh, this, other than the canes, is going to go out probably dollar day. Those could probably go out sooner. I don't know if we have any out now. I don't even know what's back there, but I think it's mostly low dollar stuff. Uh, there's that pallet of Kleenex. That should do well on dollar day. Um, that's empty. This is some Amazon stuff with all the high dollar stuff pulled out. So I'll box those up, put them out today, most likely. Um, what else? That's eBay. Uh, this pallet looks like a nightmare to go through. I'm going to do it after the sale. Under Ignoring the stuff on top, that's Takis. Those were working our way out. We've got a little bit of these left. That's light bulbs, cleaning wipes. Um, over here, there's not a whole lot that's going out. Really just these. It's those apricot scrubs. We're just going to push them through dollar day and bag day to get rid of them. Um, let's see. Those are all empty. This is just stuff that's going to work its way out today tomorrow this is a two dollar day pallet so as tables clear out all of this is going to go out see those white boxes there under them is carbon monoxide detectors we're selling out of those put them out on dollar day probably not bag day but i'll probably just sell the pallet of them in the auction if there are any left afterwards underwear stains a couple of random things here going cookies those are going forgot about this pallet so we're going to save this for the next sale i need the forklift to take it down and i think we can get more this looks like a $25 pallet that I never went through, so I'm just gonna wait on that. This is a lot of like school supplies, I think. So we'll start pushing that out today. Um, books, those are staying, eBay stuff, that's mostly trailer hitches. So that's pretty much it back here. We've got weighted blankets. I've got three ice shanties left. Those boxes are more scunchy things. Um, that's pretty much where we're sitting, a couple of boxes down here. So we should clear a lot of this out. That corner is all hookah stuff. That's not going in the sale, as well as this pallet. That's why I skipped over it. Those are all cleaning wipes. That's a pallet of shop lights that we're saving for next year. And that's pretty much it back here. And then I've got Suite 500 on the other side of the building, full of stuff, too, that we'll be putting out. Plus, in the tunnel along there, stuff. So we'll have a lot of stuff going out for the next three days. Even some going out on bag day. We've got all of the dollar snacks. Oh, here, I didn't show you that pallet. So this pallet will go out on dollar day. It's snacks. And hopefully we sell out of enough of that because I've got another pallet of them that were boxed that went through the last sale. But since we didn't have a bag day, we didn't have the opportunity to get rid of them. So those are all gonna go out for bag day this time. 
Uh, so hopefully we sell out enough of those so we don't have just snacks in the sale. Um, but I think as bag day moves on, any that are left will probably be gone in the first 15, 20 minutes so we can push the rest of those out. Justin just arrived with breakfast, sausage, I don't think it's egg, just sausage and cheese on a waffle. Yep, there's egg. So I think this is the coolest thing. We're living in the future. A guy walked up to me and he said, excuse me, no English. And he showed me his phone and he had a translator app where he asked me a question, if we have any more Christmas trees. And I could read it and understand them. It was awesome. That needs to be, more people need to use those. That makes it so much easier. And my tiny little bit of Spanish, when I found one in the back, I went up and said, uno mas. I'm really proud about that. So I got a phone call from a customer. We didn't get to it in time. She left a voicemail. Um, she bought something, uh, left it outside, forgot to load it in her car. And the voicemail said, "If it, hopefully it's still there. If it's not there, she would like a refund. I wouldn't have refunded her. She's the one who left it outside. We didn't do anything here. It was her mistake. Thankfully, it was still out there. But I tried to call her back. I don't understand this. We have this issue all the time. Everybody's voicemail in the world is full right now, it seems like. I would guess probably nine out of every ten calls we make where we try to leave a voicemail, their voicemail box is full and we can't leave a message. There's got to be a way where they can just make it where they auto-delete the old ones or something because it's really frustrating. So hopefully she comes back in and gets them or notices that we called. I mean, nobody answers phone calls from numbers they don't recognize anymore, so... Without a voicemail, we're probably not getting a call back. All right, so it's 10.15, a little over two hours into the day, and we are at 2,700. All right, got, let's see, it's three cases, so 36 carbon monoxide detectors going out. You know, you'd think these would do really well because a carbon monoxide detector is like, what, 30 bucks minimum? It's Samsung, it's brand name. It works with the smart app whatever if you want to use it i'm sure it'll work if you don't have the app um and they're in date they don't expire until like 2027 i think and yet we struggle to move these i bet there's gonna be a lot left after dollar day so i'm digging through this amazon palette and oh dear but i don't know if we can put this out because there's only a buck in here and a doe and a fawn but it's two dollar day getting lunch i'm at arby's Christiana did not make me lunches for this sale. <laughs> Worth no, we have free shipping on this thing. So we're still open, but we close in five minutes. 62.54 is the total. We got a couple of customers in there. Maybe we do 62.70, 6300, something like that. Um, not thrilled based on my expectations this morning and yesterday, but it's still better than what we've been doing the past couple of sales. And honestly, the tables are not great. It's, it's pretty chaotic, pretty messy. I'm not looking forward to the next two days of dollar day. Hopefully a lot of stuff clears out fast. Then we can be done. All right, it's about as nice as it's gonna get. Man, this place is such a mess. It is. You know, there's a few things like moving that box and moving this box. I'm just going to do in the morning. I'm getting out of here. And I'm finishing at 64.47. So it's about a thousand dollars behind my prediction. However, we're pretty close on all of my predictions if you add them all up. Because remember last week, Friday, I think, um, my prediction was 5,000 and we did like eight or 9,000. So if you take that extra, and put it across the little bits that I've been off. I think we're about dead even right now. I think what's really hurting us right now is special buy. We've got, we're getting a decent amount of sales in the regular items. I mean, $2 a day we did 60, what did I say, 6,300, 6,400, something like that. But we do not have much on the special buy section. What we have really isn't the greatest. I think I really need to do a push for better special buy stuff for the next sale because that could easily be another three grand in sales today. 
and that would have put us at 9,500, which would be a very different type of day. So I think that's what I'm really gonna try and do. That type of stuff does not seem to be coming up much within reasonable prices. Sam's Club, I've been seeing that, a lot of big stuff, but it's very heavy in summer. Uh, right now, Target is just trash right now and really expensive. You know, and I'm trying to avoid returns for the special buy items. I really like that to be primarily new items. So, I don't know. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research after we're done this week. It's 6.54 a.m. I'm so tired. Remember I said I was gonna go to bed early last night? That didn't happen. Um, gonna do the morning video. We got 12 eBay orders to ship out. And then I'm gonna nap. I wish. So seeing the eBay, uh, seeing the inventory we have out there today, uh, my guess is we're gonna be probably around five to six thousand dollars today, and tomorrow is gonna be a big day. Um, we'll move through as much as we can. We got 12 eBay orders this morning. And after I shipped out eBay orders, I was kind of trying to keep up with it throughout the day yesterday. We had three or four more. So eBay's doing really well for us right now. All right, we just opened. Probably 15 people came in. I really think people are waiting for tomorrow, for Saturday. But we've got a lot of stuff, but we're at the point where it's, it's not great stuff and it's not presented well at all. So my prediction, like I said, is going to be about five to 6,000 today. And tomorrow, I'm going to say eight. 8,000 tomorrow. It's my theory. I don't know if it's going to happen, but we'll see. Even if we end up with a weak finish, the first start was great. And I would call it a successful sale. Hey. So Ben, who is the biggest Scrooge I know, he hates Christmas. He suggested all excited that we do an ugly Christmas sweater day today. He messaged last night, he messaged this morning. I'm all decked out. I'm the only person that did it. Tim bought a Christmassy shirt in the sale and put it on. Justin's not wearing anything Christmassy. Even Ben, the guy who suggested it, who's excited about it, showed up in a regular shirt. Come on. 10.40 a.m. and we're at 2,400 bucks. Liquid candy. It's chamoy flavor. I didn't know what chamoy was. This is absolutely disgusting. I'm gonna see if I can get Justin to try it. All right, so I got something for you to try. It's liquid candy. I just tried some. It's chamoy flavored. I, you have to open it. Is it spicy? No. I thought it was going to be spicy. What's it taste like? Chamoy. What's chamoy? You'll find out. How do I open it? The top little tip breaks off. Breaks off. There we go. What do you do? Just like squirt it in your mouth? Yeah. This is going to be awful, isn't it? Yeah. <sighs> what I do for you. That is nasty. Pickled fruit. I had to Google what chamoy is. Never again. <laughs> ah. Oh God, thank God I had two drinks here. I was gonna bribe him $5 to try that. He did it for free. I can still taste it and I've been swishing around lemonade for like five minutes. Why do people choose to eat pickled things by choice? It's terrible. It's awful. At least he was expecting it to be bad. I saw a red package and I thought it was going to be like cherry or fruit punch. Ugh. It tastes like hot dog water, but if you pickled hot dog water, it's bad. It's 3.09 and we are at 51.66. It's pretty busy in there, but it's kind of slowed down through the day. I'm going to guess we're going to finish around 5,600. I mean, we only did 300 bucks in the two o'clock hour. Last year's comparison, I think was a $3 day. 
Maybe. So I've been getting a lot of hate on my last few videos for saying people are garbage. Um, and that they come and spend money, so I shouldn't be calling them garbage. Now, to clarify, and I've clarified this before, when I say people are garbage, I'm talking about the garbage people who do garbage things, and honestly, they're not welcome in these sales. Let me give you an example of one that just happened. I don't know who did it, I didn't see it happen, but we had these cans of like grease for uh, mechanics or something. Uh, they're just little jars. Someone decided to open every, well, not every single one, several of them, and just leave them in the box opened. Ruined a bunch of merchandise. I had to throw the whole box away because everything was covered in grease. Those customers, customers, cost us money. They also just ruined the experience for everyone. Those people, and I'm going to say this very clearly, so the people who don't like these comments, they understand. Those people are garbage. Trash. Garbage. Not welcome here. And I feel like the people who in the comments who get so angry that I call garbage people garbage people, they are probably also garbage people, whether they realize it or not. And I don't want to offend garbage people, the people who go and pick up your garbage every week, because they're great. That seems like a really hard job. I wouldn't want to do it. I have the utmost respect for garbage people, sanitation workers, but garbage people going into a business and destroying it, no respect at all. Those people are, say it with me now, garbage. One day, and in what, seven years of doing this, it hasn't happened yet. But one day I will see somebody do this in front of me and I will walk them right out the door. I don't care if they have a full cart, they are out of here. And I can't wait for that day to happen. I may end up with a negative review because I'm gonna call them a garbage person right to their face. Why are you leaving garbage in here? Are you garbage, sir, ma'am? Are you garbage? Okay, my rant is over. So we had one of these come back today. They said it wasn't charging. All right, let's see, was it one bar before? Seems to be charging just fine. Probably leave a charge up all the way though. We have extra chargers and extra batteries, so I figured if it wasn't charging, I'd just swap it. I mean, we got three of these batteries right here from a couple defective units. So we've got those wipes that I've got a million of out. Dollar each, they seem to be doing all right. Justin says a customer wants to buy a case of them, They're willing to pay 24. And I said, no, we were selling them at 15 in the last sale. We'll sell them at 15 this sale. But tell her, tell her two for 30. So she gets a lot more units for an extra $6. And we basically sell two cases because even if it was one, I'm gonna sell it for 15. That's what we were selling for in the last sale. Um, she buys them, gets up to the, her car. That's when she realized, and I didn't know this, we've got much bigger canisters out there than the ones we had. They were like what I would call standard size cleaning wipes canisters before we were selling cases of them. Apparently right now we're selling individual like giant monster cans of them. So she came back in and she was fine. Um, we swapped them out. I told her I can't do that deal on these cause they're like triple the size. They're not the ones we were selling in the last one, but she was fine with it and understanding. And she ended up, she spent 30. So I gave her a case of the big ones and then six extra cans to even it out. So we finished at about 5,600, uh, sold out of the garlands. Uh, we still have these last three left and we've got these and six more here and a lot of those yet. Uh, we sold the Christmas tree that was here. It might still be here. Uh, yep, it's still here. It was sold, but they're coming back to pick it up. We got 150 bucks for that. These are starting to get low. Did I tell you what we did yet? It's 5,600. So I guess four, uh, between five and 6,000. We're kind of right in the middle there. These are clearing down pretty well. So my plan was to just throw them in the auction um, just to get rid of them. And that's what we're going to do if there are any left at the end. But I'm going to get like 15 bucks for, the, for that pallet. I got a lot more than 15 bucks. I bet we, we must have sold a bunch of them. 
I mean, we sold at least two, four, six, eight. We sold at least nine of them right there. And there was probably a bunch on the second layer. Um, tables are kind of a mess, but it's dollar day. What do you expect? That's what it's going to be. I hate doing the morning walkthrough when tables look like this. Because there's also a lot of trash in the boxes. Like just empty plastic and stuff. But I'm going home. Oh, we're almost out of these floor mats. Looks like we got three left. That one's different. And then like part of one. Three and a half left. Uh, we put these out. These should have been out the wholesale. And it's just something that ended up on the back burner. Um, these, I'm going to have a lot of these left in the end, I'm sure. We're just going to auction off the whole. Because I have a whole pallet, untouched pallet, plus these. I'm just going to auction them all off at the end. Whole bunch of snacks here. What is this? Sweet roll. Interesting. Looks like it may have been a little crushed. It looks like a hamburger bun. Yeah, we got stuff like this. All right, I'm going home. This is where it'll be when I get here in the morning. Well, I also have all these folders. They're all marked a dollar. Um, so I'm just not going to put them out. $19.99, we're doing the whole box. I bet there's at least 200 of them in here. And I covered the top with tape so people won't hide merchandise in there. It's 7.17 in the morning and I'm already eating my lunch. I'm hungry. So this vacuum, I unplugged it this morning. Full charge. So, I don't know, maybe their outlet just wasn't working or something. I'm going to mark it just in case it comes back. So I'll know that it got returned twice. If it comes back a second time, then there's got to be some sort of issue that we weren't able to figure out. Although they told us it doesn't charge. And I charged it fully there, so I don't think it's going to come back. All these Christmas playlists I pick out have a bunch of really slow songs. It's not what we need at 8, 10 in the morning. I found another one and had a really good, upbeat, happy song in the beginning. And now we're back to, oh, night. I want to go to sleep. Um, so really slow start. There was only like eight people in line this morning. I don't know if it's because it's raining or if it's because the tables look like crap uh, or a combination of both. But I have very low hopes for today, which kind of sucks because I had a new goal in mind given how the first half of the sale went and we're not going to hit that um but first half of the sale was great second half i mean we had a couple of really good days so overall i'm happy with how the sale went and i see areas where we can improve for hopefully the next sale i mean i really hope this isn't just a christmas thing and the next sale ends up being crap again because that's gonna be really bad so a local company is having a bet an auction at the Bed Bath & Beyond here in Green Bay selling all the equipment. I don't understand the logic here. Pickup is only on December 27th. Pretty much everybody's going to be busy with Christmas that day, including me. I'll be out of town. So, um, yeah, that sucks because I would like to bid on some of this stuff. 8.37 and we almost made 100. Someone walked up with three of those Cheetos tins. And I told her I'd give her all of them that were on the sales floor there for 20 bucks. And she really wanted to buy them. Her husband did not. So unfortunately, they didn't buy them. But she sounds like she's going to try and convince them. Hopefully, they take them all. I'd like to sell all of the Cheetos tins. But at least we can sell a big chunk like that. Two hours in, we're at $617. Well, today's been a disappointment crazy how low today is compared to the rest of the sale yesterday was pretty low too considering i mean dollar day is usually you know crazy even on the bad sales dollar day was still pretty solid so other than special buy stuff um i'm done stocking with it being this slow anything we put out is pretty much going to be bag day anyways um keep an eye on the tables if some of the replens like the um it's not smoke co detectors or the sugar wafers or something run out yeah i'll restock them but i'm not gonna put a bunch of stuff out when we're getting very little sales so special buy i've been doing we got some kind of crappy inventory it's not all like we've got a really nice patio love seat i just put together and put out it's crappy because 
it's not really patio season, but maybe that'll get another hundred bucks. Um, a couple of the return vacuums that have been sitting for a year that nobody seems to want. I threw a couple of those out there with lower prices, like 30 bucks for a $200 vacuum, just to get them out of here. Maybe get a few extra sales out of it. And beyond that, I'm just going to be back here kind of cleaning, crushing boxes and not a whole lot to do today. Hopefully it is raining. It's not pouring out. It's just kind of a drizzle, crummy day. It's still really warm out. It's like 42 or 43 for a high today. And um, I feel like I'm a weather reporter right now. we got some low pressure system coming in from those boxes and uh, a little bit of rain coming in from that pallet. Supposed to stop raining by, I think, 11 or noon, so maybe more people will come later. I don't know. It's starting to pick up out there. So we got this. It's brand new. I thought this was a swamp cooler. It's a humidifier. So I'm going to put this out half price, a little over half price, $89.99. So making some progress clearing. This whole area was full. You know, we forgot, again, that pallet of Kleenex back there. It's like the fourth sale we've forgotten it. The next sale, I don't care if it's going on dollar day, it's going front and center so we don't forget it. Technically, we still have time to put it out. I put sent Justin with one box to put out because we're midway through dollar day, but we're not gonna be able to move a whole pallet in the second half of a very slow dollar day. All right, we got all this cleared out. This pile along here is next. Sold basically the last ice shanty, the one that we threw in the truck dock is still there. Um, I don't remember if I told you guys those paramedics bags. I'm putting out for 20 bucks just to get rid of them. These things wasn't a great. I thought this would be a heck of a buy. They're for paramedics, uh, Dynamedic. They're waterproof. Um, uh, we're we tried 40 uh, for two sales and we sold a couple here and there, but I've got this one and I think four more over there and one on the sales floor. I just want them gone. $19.99 each. We put one in the auction and sold for six bucks. I don't know why. I mean, it's got a whole bunch of dividers in here, but they do come out. So you can kind of organize it whatever way you want. Um, and it's waterproof. Sweet. The last of those peel and stick tiles sold today. I thought for sure we were going to be stuck with a bunch of them. Um, what did I come back here for? Ah, uh, yeah, now I remember that Serlatov espresso maker up there. The reason that one hasn't sold is because the, like, reservoir on the back is cracked. Well, of course, we've got an extra one here. No reservoir. So, I might just part it out on eBay. When I looked it up when I first priced it, I remember seeing they were expensive on eBay. Sell it for parts or sell the parts. I don't know, figure something out. Well, I suppose I can show you these things. I think I may have pulled these off of a pallet on a video. It's just like plastic rods, I guess. And I was just going to throw them out, like the whole bag here for, you know, five bucks or something. There's even, I put it back in here. There's one that I threw in the trash. It was a narrow one though. I don't know, it's in one of these bags. It was a narrow one. It was maybe a quarter inch. And I just threw it in the garbage because what are we going to do with that? These are expensive. They're like 40, 50 bucks for one of these on eBay. I don't remember what it's called. It's got a term. One of these has, uh, I'm not gonna look all the way down there, but they are pricey. And some of these are pretty big. That's gotta be an inch and a half, maybe. I have a feeling we're gonna be stuck with a lot of NFL jackets after we're done here. The Packers ones weren't on eBay because I figured we'd sell them in the sale. So I guess we'll get those on eBay. I also, we pulled a bunch of them from eBay just because it was easier than keeping track of which ones sold and we'll just relist the ones that are left once we get, once the sale's over. There's a dog hanging out in here. I'm not a dog person, but I like that one. Except for the dumb pink ears. Um, I left my water somewhere and I cannot find it anywhere. I'm pretty certain I didn't finish it. There are only like four places that I put a water in here. Would you like to add to that? Could have been a pit. It's very well hiding. You know where it is? I might. 
Where is it? Play Marco Polo. So here's why I don't do offers. You accept one offer and people think they can make offers on everything. Job command. One second. So those plastic fish bowls, we've been selling them for $24.99. We had the last one out, um, but it was missing some. That's just how we got it. It was missing maybe 10 or 12 of them. And so I took an offer. Someone offered 20 bucks. Okay, that's fair. It's missing a bunch of them. Now I'm getting offers on everything, including a shark vacuum that I just put out this morning at 75% off. So we got an empty cart here. Someone had like four or five of those Cheetos tins in their cart. So I said, I'll sell you all that are left for 10 bucks. There were 58 of them. So less than what we, a decent amount less than what we had before. And he took me up on it. And then I sold 20 bucks for the rest. I've got a pallet and a half back here. He said, no, this is enough. So I'm gonna fill it back up and bring them out. Remember, I paid 25 bucks a pallet for those. I've made a profit. They're just not moving that well. So we're getting rid of them. If we can't sell all of them like this, then we're just gonna auction off whatever's left. All right, so I never got around to boxing this up and putting it out for dollar day. So we're just gonna let people fill bags. I'm sure a lot of it would do really well for dollar day, but it's been here for two sales now. I'm sure a lot of it's getting to be pretty far past date. There's April. Uh, this one's May. So yeah, we're just gonna let it go. Fill a bag. I wonder how much of a mess this is gonna be by the end. I'm sure people will be ripping these bags open as they're digging through. There's some good snacks in here though. I only paid like 50 or 100 bucks for this pallet, but we just, I can't hold on to this for another warehouse sale. This sign doesn't seem effective on a rainy, windy day. So we finished the day at 33.82. Woof. Today alone we sold 22 Cheetos tins for $22 plus that lot for 10 for the other guy. So it's 32 bucks that paid for one of the pallets right there. Not to mention all the other ones we sold throughout the sale and we had some in a previous sale too. And we are all done for the day. So I'm just going to go through and see if there's anything that I want to pull that I don't want out. I don't think there's anything that I'm going to pull. I think I'm going to let it all go. I've got a few boxes of stuff in the back, such as like 10 boxes of this coffee and probably 8 or 10 cases of this that I just want to get rid of. So we're going to bring that out. There are also like 3 or 4 boxes of fall Halloween stuff I'm going to put out. And uh, then we'll be done. Tim helped the customer carry, the last customer carry their stuff out and he comes back in with the customer. They bought the firewood rack. So that's 60 bucks for all three of those. I had four more and I just got to take a look at them so I gave them away. Guess I shouldn't have done that. I wonder if any of those were the pallets that I got for 25 bucks. Because that would mean I've made most of that back just on the pallet. Yeah, I'm leaving it all out. I did pull the jackets. We're still gonna sell them, but I don't want someone to try and stuff one in their bag. Um, and that's pretty much it. None of the other special buy stuff seems like it would fit in a bag. A rope, I guess, but honestly, we have it for 40. I would be okay letting that go for five. Um, looks like we sold another one of these, so we sold two of these today. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to clear a little bit of space to bring those boxes out, and we put boxes of bags out on the table, and then I'm out of here. I don't even think we can sell all of this on bag day. Got myself a free scoop of custard at Culver's today. Sweet! It was weird going through the drive-thru where my total was zero dollars. Some people you just can't please, and they'll make stuff up to be outraged about. Someone commented on one of their posts, I was there today and definitely not impressed. And several people jumped in and replied to our comments that you were there on the second to last day. It was pretty picked over when you showed up. Plus it was dollar day. And, and then she says, no, I was there on the first day too. And they were selling slippers worth a dollar for 10 bucks. I responded as nicely as I could, but have you ever seen slippers for a dollar? I don't think those, even at like Dollar General, they're at least five bucks. 
But also the slippers we had early in the sale, and I don't even know if they were out on $10 day, were Hanes slippers with a retail price of $34.95. And I listed a bunch of other stuff that was well worth it that we had on the first day. So I don't know if I'm going to get a response back, but you just can't please someone. Although it is really nice that we're building enough of a following where when someone posts a comment like that, a bunch of people jump in and explain to them why they're wrong. It's about seven o'clock. I'm just getting here for bag day. There's four cars outside, short line of people waiting by the door. That makes me nostalgic of some of our earlier sales. All right, so let me show you what we pulled. We did end up pulling some stuff. We pulled this box of NFL clothes. I think I can just wholesale these and then the cosmetics. You know, this whole thing is gonna be a bag, maybe two. So five to 10 bucks, whereas we save it for the next sale and we could probably make a hundred bucks on it. I feel like it just makes sense to pull it. And those two are also full of cosmetics. I also had a pallet with like three or four boxes of fall and Halloween stuff. Um, I put that out just to get rid of it. And that pallet of snacks, oh, I showed you that last night, that went out. It's the last day I expect to be done. One o'clock maybe. And, um, and then I'm going to try, we'll see, I'm tired, it's been a long two weeks, but I'm going to try and stay here for a few more hours to clean up and uh, get the front emptied out, get all the boxes crushed, we'll see. <laughs> Tim broke his arm off. Let's glue it on. He's good. Yeah, he's good. When he's putting his, jack his daughter's jacket on her, that's how he does it too. He has to glue her arms back on. There's gotta be 70 people outside and we're just letting everybody in. Absolute chaos, I love it. It's probably been five or six months since we've done a bag day because we skipped bag day the last one. I, I miss this. It's the day where we make the least. We technically lose money on pretty much everything we sell, but it's the most fun day. Plus, it means we're done. Tables are clearing out. We start knocking down tables, condensing boxes, and by a few hours from now, we'll be closed and done until the end of February. I always find it funny when it's someone's first day here for a bag day. The look of shock and fear on their face when they walk in and they see the chaos. It's like, have you ever seen those videos where a whale is dead in the bottom of the ocean and all the eels and everything are scavenging it? That's what's happening here. Just think if people ravage the tables like this on Dollar Day. It's happened before, but not for a long time. And I say dollar day rather than $10 a day because we get so much more stuff on dollar day that we'd probably make more money if we sold everything on dollar day rather than if we sold everything on $10 a day. So I got the sign made for when we close. I also made the new Facebook cover. I don't know if this will work, if it'll play like this, but uh, that's the plan for the Facebook cover for after we close. I'm going to wait until we close for that though. Which is, let's see, it's 824. Probably about four or five hours or so. And we're going to be closing up shop. Maybe sooner. I mean, it really depends on how fast those tables empty out. Everybody's exhausted after this sale. Have you ever seen this before? You know, one of these fancy waters. There's something floating in it. It's still sealed. Never seen that before. I'm just going to throw this away. So there was a woman and her daughter. The daughter had a bag, uh, probably snacks, little toys, stuff like that. And there was still a decent amount of room left in it. Now, I've never understood the whole minimalism thing. If I, if I was shopping here, you know, once you have a bag, anything else you put in that bag is free. I'm gonna fill that bag up. Even if I don't need the stuff, even, does, and we've got enough snacks, just throw some snacks in, you know, throw some stuff you don't need, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna fill that bag up, especially with Christmas time here. Grab some of those apricot facial scrubs, throw them in people's stockings, whatever. It's free. Um, 
but nonetheless, so the bag still, it was only like half full, maybe not even. Um, but then the mom comes up after the daughter buys the bag. Daughter's waiting. Mom's up with two items. And it looks like makeup or something. I told her, just, just throw it in the bag. It, it's free. It's, put it in your daughter's bag. Your daughter already paid for it. I, I don't understand. It's free if you just put it in the bag that you're buying. And they were, you know, little, like makeup. All right, sold the ice shanty that we couldn't put back together. 40 bucks. We, last I checked, were over 1,200 already. Considering we have like nothing for special buy, it's turning out to be a pretty good bag day. So I ordered pizza for the staff today. I think during warehouse sales is the only time I ever ordered Domino's. It's really not bad and it's cheap, but I usually go for one of a couple local places when I'm at home getting pizza for myself. This is also the only time I order food. I usually just go pick food up. I never order food if it's just for me. I told Tim I left him half the pizza, but I took one bite out of each piece that was left. I didn't actually do that, but it was funny. So we've got one customer left. I think in about half an hour, we're gonna make the call. We'll see, usually it gets dead for a little bit and then we get rushed again. So in half an hour, if we don't get another rush, we'll make the call that we're closing in an hour, give them the 60 minute warning, and then uh, switch to $10 for a cart full instead of $5, or I should say in addition to $5 for a bag full. And um, then we'll be done in an hour. It's like 11.30 right now. I also removed all my marketplace listings. I had people still messaging on the dollar day posts and this morning I was giving them the spiel about bag day. It's dollar each or five bucks for as much as you can fill in a bag, blah, blah, blah. But at this point, I don't want someone's first time to come in here to be the six tables that are left because then they're never coming back. So we close in 15 minutes and I cannot believe how many of this, these snacks are still here. Like, someone has like a third of a cart of snacks. You realize you could fill that up and it would be the same price. I don't get it. Especially for how expensive chips are. And they're good. We've been snacking on them for like three months around here. I don't understand. But I guess that pal is just going to be... I'm just putting it in the auction. We're getting it out of here. As with a lot of the stuff here that's been sitting for too long. One thing that I'm really sick of is having the warehouse so full, it seems like we can't bring anything else in. But somehow, despite it being that full, it seems like we've got nothing for inventory because we have so much stuff that just sits forever. So my goal with this sale that we just did and moving on after the sale is to clear that stuff out. I sold the entire Halloween palette was left for 25 bucks to someone. It was the last customer. We kept throwing stuff in their cart. Even after they had paid for everything, we started throwing stuff in their cart. Um, so I offered them all the Packers jackets at 20 bucks each. They didn't want to do it, but they ended up buying two at our price, 40. Um, I'm happy getting 25 bucks for all that Halloween stuff. It gets it out of here. And I think we're over 500 as a whole for it all. Um, and I was just gonna dump that for like a hundred. I think I offered it to someone for 150 bucks before I boxed it all up, so whatever. This surprises me how full this is. We're just gonna auction that off. We'll auction all this other stuff off as one lot. Uh, we've got this for the secret sauce. We sold a pretty good amount of it and we got a dollar a case, so a lot more than if I just auctioned that pallet off. Um, this will probably be an auction lot. And then, Pretty much everything here will just get auctioned off, I'm sure. Except for this we actually have on eBay, truck rails. We have it for a lot more than that. Um, this I was thinking I was gonna throw on eBay. And this is the last three of these. We'll auction those off. I still have 
six more of these plus these four. So I guess we'll save them again. Are people no longer buying weighted blankets? They did the first couple of sales we had them, they just did so well. And since then they have not. Um, I'm thinking we're just gonna go $10 a day in the next sale just to dump them. Sold a pretty good amount of these. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with these. I might just put them up for $10 a day in the next sale and let the price drop on them if they're still here. Of course, I'll be keeping a couple. Um, I'm gonna keep one, at least one here in the building rather than in the car. Because if we're working and the cars get covered in snow, you don't want to have to open the door to get it out. All right, let's go through the numbers. And then I am going to clean up a little bit and go home. All right, we finished with a grand total of 59473 So we got a custom amount. That's going to be a couple of different things. Mystery boxes, five, 839 ranch 27 dollars. We, we made a lot more than that um on dollar day we just rang it up as a dollar item uh let's see a bag of items today 1050 cart of items today 90 cheetos tins 60 again on dollar day we just rang them up as a regular single dollar item so that's not going to be accurate plus there's the person who bought a bunch of them for 10 bucks we put that in as a uh, custom uh, amount General merchandise, 16,135 items for 42 grand. NFL apparel, that's mostly the Packers stuff, 2,792. A pair of work gloves, 205. Regular apparel, 962. The pepper spray, 60. Scunchy items, 468. And on three, two, and $1 day, they just rang up as the regular GM item. Set of kitchen towels, 135. We sold all three firewood racks for 60. 100 sets of coffee cups, that's a special buy item we had for 15. Two ton chain block for 50. Three ton chain block for 60. The humidifier sold today for 90. We sold 13 blank quills for 390. Box of folders for 20. A case of 100 fish bowls, it says we sold two for 50. However, we sold one for 20, that was a custom entered one. And we sold another one for 25 that was custom entered because this wasn't working. So we sold four total for 95 bucks. Um, case of, this is the uh, peel and stick tiles, 15 cases for 374. We sold a Christmas tree for 20. Uh, that was the little Dollar General one, had a $35 price tag on it. Uh, propane heater for 50, a dented trash can 25, the drive elevation wedges 7 for 244, sold 26 mystery boxes for 519 plus the 25 bucks that we sold them for today, the last of them. The faux fur weighted blankets 11 for 329, fireplace heaters, I paid 200 bucks for this pallet, sold them all for 319, I still have all of the broken ones. Folding pet crate for 30, gear puller, we sold one for 20, hard-sided suitcase, that's the teal blue one for 45, the pre-lit, Hayden pre-lit tree, 150, the husky texture sprayer, 40, a microwave, it's kind of broken, it just, it sounds really loud when we run it, so I feel like it's on its way out the door, so we sold it for $9.99 as a special buy item the other day. 40 NFL jackets for $1,579. Whew. 10 ice shanties for 584. We sold in the 11th for 40 bucks, which would make it 624. And one of them apparently we gave away for free because there were 12 total. Three paramedics bags for 60. Portable indoor grill, 25. Snow blower, 300. The prelit garlands, we sold 94 of them for five, 939 bucks. That doesn't sound like an appropriate number. 94 divided by six is 15.66666 boxes, so something's off. Um, I mean, there's the display, I guess, so 95 divided by six, 15.88. So I think we're one of them is missing. Maybe it just got rang up as a regular item or something, I don't know. Pre-lit Christmas tree, 99.99. Um, race line rim, that was the single rim that we had, 1999. Radiant space heater, we sold only three of them for 120. A little surprised that those weren't moving um, because they're 80 bucks in the store. Rigid vacuums, we sold three for 104. We sold the kit for 25. 
Um, the two suitcases we sold, the large and medium, for 60 and 70 on the first day. We didn't sell another one after that. I'm surprised about that. Uh, Rug Doctor Pet sold for 50. The Sherpa Weight of Blanket, we sold 10 for 200. Neck Massager, 25. Snow Broom, I paid 275 bucks for this pallet. We sold 89 of them for almost 900 bucks. Uh, Air Fryer, 24. The Espresso Maker, 39.99. The two broken snowblowers for a hundred foot stool for twenty five. That was that weird green thing there. Uh, when scroll saw for sixty five. The iHome vacuums. I paid eight hundred for the pallet. We got one thousand eight hundred and ninety nine dollars and forty six cents. That is a little off because one got returned for thirty five, and then we resold it. So subtract thirty five from that. Oh, and that's everything. So big takeaways here. I think we would have easily hit 80 if we had better and more special buy items. The special buy area was really weak. There were a lot of days where I think we could have gotten an extra one to 3,000 bucks just in special buy had we been able to push that out. So that I'm a little bummed out by. Um, that's the big takeaway here. I'm really hoping this sticks is not just uh, because it was Christmas. I am going to for the next sale do better advertising similar to what I did in this sale. I'm going to try and get a bigger variety of products with some household essentials like the Walgreens stuff. And we'll see. Only one way to find out. So that is it for this video. Um, when did I say this was going to be up? June? July? Something like that? Because I got the other ones up so early. So um, happy summer. Bye. Merry Christmas.